Why are WWE fans still asking Liv Morgan this question while in this video? We're going to discuss this topic and in fact what Liv Morgan recently had to say because Liv Morgan, she is in a heck of a run right now on WWE television, feuding with Rhea Ripley, being aligned with Dominic Mysterio. I mean, heck, they're just days away from Bash in Berlin. A mixed tag team match, Liv Morgan teaming up with Dom taking on Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley coming off of a heck of a Summer Slam collision in which Dominic Mysterio, he showed his true colors. He showed his true side and he showed his support for Liv Morgan, helping Liv Morgan retain the Women's World Championship over Rhea Ripley. Now, Liv Morgan, this new profound, just absolute push to the moon, it's kind of new for her because at this stage of the game for Liv Morgan's career, she has it all. Think about it. She has Dominic Mysterio. She's now part of the Judgment Day. A Ruben Witch is wrapped around her finger. And oh, by the way, she's the Women's World Champion and one of the hottest, if not the hottest, WWE program going to date. But for her to be in a position in which she's in now, that was something in which she had to scratch and crawl her way to. That includes recruiting friends to help along the way. Because think about it, years, years ago, between 2017 and 2019, she had an all-girl alliance. You may recall it, the Riot Squad with Ruby Riot, a.k.a. AEW star Ruby Soho, and Sarah Logan, who is now portraying the Valhalla character in WWE. Hala, if you will. Now, their confidence together and their goals together, they aligned, and they were propelled up the card during this time period. Now, while speaking at Fanatics Best NYC, Big E and Liv Morgan, they did a panel in which they discussed something that I think people need to let go, and that was whether or not Liv Morgan would be open to this idea. Would Liv Morgan be open to reuniting with Solo or Valhalla? Should the stars align? So think about it. So we got to have Sarah Logan go back to her character and or a new character. And we have to have Ruby Soho, who is currently pregnant with her first child, congrats, come back to WWE. This is what Lynn Morgan had to say. Well, you know, I think that everything happens in life kind of happens as it should, whether it's good or bad. I feel like we can never say never on anything. I'm really, really happy right now with Dominic and Judgment Day, but who knows down the line? If you have Ruby and Sarah recruiting on Judgment Day, that might be something, end quote. Now, yes, the trio, they've separated, right? I, I've made that very clear. So oh, she joined AEW at All Out 2021 after the company had released her WWE, of course. And now, um, Lynn Morgan's better... She's better off. She's better off. Can we just admit that? Now, look, here's the reason that I want people to stop asking this. This is the reason why I think people should stop asking this. Why? Why? If you are a Lib Morgan fan, if you are a supporter, if you are someone in which you believe in Lib Morgan, that you think that she has finally reached the right spot in her career, why on earth would you want Lib Morgan to go back to where she was? Why? Lynn Morgan is on top of her freaking game. She's in the hottest program, in my opinion, that the WWE has to offer right now. Think about it. Liv Morgan, for the last few months, has been on an absolute tear. She returns at the Royal Rumble. She officially kicks off the Liv Morgan Revenge Tour. She proceeds to get into a notable feud with Becky Lynch, a feud in which overshadowed Nia Jax, Rhea Ripley, which headlined the Elimination Chamber PLE in Australia. She then is not used at WrestleMania, admittedly so, because WWE, they had much bigger plans for her. They were going to do Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. They were going to have Rhea go over Becky. That happened. And then they were going to go into a Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley program coming out of Mania for the Women's World title. That sounds to me... Like a really good spot for Liv Morgan, considering that she was off television for months due to an injury, and before that she was used off and on by WWE Creative when they needed a plug-and-play type of talent. Since then, she has become WWE's biggest female stars by a landslide. Liv Morgan is opening, closing, and doing multiple segments for Monday Night Raw every single week, to the point where fans... Or just, they can't get enough of this program with her and Rhea Ripley. To the point where I am actively calling on WWE, and I think they're going to do so because I think they realize 
what they have in order with this feud, what they have as such a special, special feud with Liv and Rhea, where you can legitimately go and headline three WWE PLE or or do three matches at WWE PLEs. I'm not saying headline three, but you can do three matches at WWE PLEs and easily, easily as the blow off match or the second match, you could easily have them headline a PLE. You want to talk about bad blood, October 5th in Atlanta, Georgia, putting them in a hell and a cell match? Yeah, sign me up. You want to do a, a match later on? Okay, fine, right? Like, I don't see them headlining Survivor Series, and I don't see them headlining Royal Rumble, and I really don't see them headlining Saudi Arabia, but I can see them headlining Bad Blood. I understand that everybody in the mother thinks that that's going to be the CM Punk Drew McIntyre spot because of their feud and they could work a hell on a cell and everything like that. But I could argue the fact that Liv Morgan Rhea Ripley is a hotter program than CM Punk and Drew McIntyre, which admittedly is a very, very hot program. It's one or two, in my opinion, on Monday Night Raw. It's top three. So in my opinion, this is the pecking order right now in WWE Creative with top programs, top storylines, what's leading the charge for the company right now as they continue their boom period. So I'm going to have the Bloodline storyline first. That has been and will continue to be until they end this freaking thing, their top storyline. Since August of 2020, when Roman Reigns returned, turned heel and aligned himself with Paul Heyman, that has been the top storyline. I would have Liv and Rhea over CM Punk, Drew McIntyre as the second biggest feud right, in the entire company. I really would. And and just because with them being able to implement Liv into Judgment Day and bringing in Dominic Mysterio, who is one of WWE's biggest heel magnets that they have under contract, being able to map everyone together, that is why I think this has been such an epic, epic feud. This is why this feud has led the charge for the company on Monday Night Raw. This is a feud in which they were continuously building, despite the fact that Rhea Ripley was off television injured. Think about this. I understand that everyone wants to talk about how CM Punk and Drew McIntyre is their biggest feud. Everyone did not like the SummerSlam match between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre due to the finish of that match, the booking of that match. Everyone loved Liv and Rhea, and we could not get enough of it to the point where we were asking constantly coming out of that show until it was made official when are we getting the second match? As much as I and a lot of people are looking forward to this mixed tag team match at Bash in Berlin, I think it's very, very safe to say that a lot of people are looking forward to their singles rematch as well. Let me know down in the comments area below. Hit that like button, subscribe button, and uh, hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time we upload new wrestling content here to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. I will see y'all in the next video. Take care, y'all.